ओम श्री साई राम वेलकम टू प्रशांति संदेश वी हैड मेनी दर्शन ऑफ भगवान बाबा वी वर ब्लेस्ड टू लिसन टू हिज डिवाइन डिस्कोर्स मेनी टाइम्स आई एम श्योर दैट यू मस्ट हैव नोटिस्ड ऑल दैट i noticed i don't consider myself unique or special not in the least we are just sharing our views we find great joy in speaking about bhagwan because we are along the same path we are on the pilgrimage therefore we are like minded swami's philosophy is not merely meant to reach your mind or to get into your mind no the swami's discourses have got to be rooted deep in the heart even some will reach to your very being swami's philosophy is full of thoughts that have the depth of a meditator and swami talks to us in such a way that he will take us in a flight a flight of gautam buddha and swami spoke many times they are not merely words no those words breathe there is a heart beat in his words and bhagwan's discourses full of thoughts of the heights of human consciousness they descend from heights to reach masses all this to wake up those who are fast asleep swami's talks are full of insights yes at the same time we are conscious there is no doubt about it but unconsciousness is our choice so better we choose to be conscious so that all unconsciousness that darkness can disappear decide to live on the sun lit peaks nobody can prevent us because it is our potential swami keeps us at that height exalted altitudes sun lit peaks yes then we develop a kind of longing to share his message with our colleagues message with our friends and members of the community and the desire to share is tremendous that's the reason why whenever two sai devotees meet they go on exchanging either about their experiences or the messages that reached them swami's discourses or life affirmative completely it is a religion of celebration of gratefulness to existence and swami talks discourses are not against the pleasures of life love and laughter swami is not in favor of renouncing the world yes he gives all the support of rejoicing in the world of rejoicing in the world after all all our concepts about heaven hell and god are projections of the mind bhagwan repeatedly tells us that it is everybody's potential potential 
one just needs a provocation a challenge that is the purpose of the divine discourse we are supposed to live totally joyously and intensely and that's all religion is based on but swami talks and discourses may seem to be so simple as we observe that human beings cannot accept anything that is easy and they they feel that not worthy of being the goal because the goal has to be very difficult and arduous or doers tough this is because of the ego that always wants something impossible something difficult ego pushes you towards more and more more greed more power more money more austerities more spirituality more discipline more is the language of the ego so we should recognize the fact that when the mind is not having thoughts you are in an empty sky when the mind is empty time stops there's no movement because the where there is movement there is time so when there are no thoughts when there's no time you are not there mind is not there time is not there and you will experience tremendous peace and great relaxation that is the real seeking and searching and bhagwan doesn't want you to be a recluse or a monk no because it needs more courage than going out of the world and coming back to the world needs more courage it is not enough if you live to yourself as a recluse or a monk shutting yourself in your residence no you need courage to come out and to go back to the world that's what swami's emphasis is why do you go to the world to serve the community to share his message with everybody ready to share with those who are ready to receive who are receptive who are available you know as you have noticed when sun has arisen birds are happy flowers are happy the whole planet is happy with the sunrise watching the birds and the flowers and the planet being happy sun is also happy full of hope for the coming day sun is avatar sun is our bhagwan sai aditya making the whole planet very happy we also observe that the whole existence is interconnected right from gla- grass blade to the greatest star in the sky we are interconnected you must have heard of zoroaster has two symbols one symbol of a serpent the stand for wisdom another symbol eagle the stand for courage to fly into the unknown without fear and in fact to jump into the unknown unknowable is the jump into godliness of existence and we also find 
a truly wise man is not serious, always playful. Why? Because whole existence is playful. Therefore, Avatar is always ready to come back to humanity. He will never confine himself to any particular place. He comes back to humanity to maintain the dignity of man, dignity, dignity to humanity with great courage and with all sources of great inspiration. That's what Avatar is. A man who is in authentic love with humanity will have a kind of attitude that affirms life and not condemnatory to the world, is not negative, does not make anyone feel guilty and a man with authentic love also believes in the fact that whatever he has got, that you can also achieve, that you can also recognize, because that you are, that is your potential. You are, Bhagavan is there to encourage who are ready, who need some guidance, who wants to know the path and who are willing to have the divine experiences. Therefore, we have to listen to his discourses with this awareness, with this understanding, so that we'll have the experience of the divinity within. That's what Swami repeatedly appeals to all of us. He spent all his time to spread the divine message. At one time he commented, whatever I say, whatever I do, they have got to be full of depth, awareness, should help you to recognize your own divinity. Why he even go he even goes to the extent of saying that you and I are one. I very well remember when anyone says Swami, you are merciful, you have done so much to me, and Swami tells, It's my duty. It's my duty to serve you. One time, Swami made this statement. I have no worries, I have no problems, nothing whatsoever. But there is only one thing in my mind. How to help people. How to alleviate their suffering. How to direct them towards God. How to help them in their sadhana. That's only thing I'm concerned, nothing else. Therefore, we the devotees have to recognize the very purpose of the advent of Avatar, Bhagwan Sri Sat Sai Baba. We cannot take it casually, certainly not, certainly not. Be that service activity or a spiritual activity, or educational activity, whatever it is, the activity is directed towards single goal, to experience divinity within one's own self, as the very same self in everyone around. That is the purpose of all these activities, of all the institutions set for us by Bhagwan Sri Sat Sai Baba. That's why I always tell people to give emphasis to the divine message so that our activity will be meaningful. 
that our activity will be purposeful, that activity will be fruitful, and that will take us to the goal. That will make us realize the divinity within. It's constant remembrance, what I say, in whatever we do, whatever we speak, whatever we think, as Bhagavan calls it, constant integrated awareness. Thank you. Meet again, Sairam.